Hey everyone, it's Rich Toll, and thanks for tuning in to Tola Talks on Tuesday, February 24th, 2015. It's also Top 10 Tuesday, so I'm bringing you my top 10 reasons to go to the movies. Yeah, pretty cool one today. Uh, first, a quick Get Your Shit Together award. Well, we're going to do a reversal of fortune today to the state of Alaska, who has his shit together for legalizing marijuana. That's right, today Alaska became the third state to legalize marijuana behind Washington and Colorado. You have to be 21 years years or older. You can possess up to one ounce on you. You can harvest up to four ounces in your home. And of course, it's illegal, forbids public consumption or uh, driving while high, of course. 23 states still prohibit pot outright. The rest have either decriminalized marijuana possession or decriminalized or legalized medical marijuana. You guys know about that here in California. We have it. Uh, It's like, hey, smoking pot for those who who smoke pot, you're going to smoke pot. So why not legalize it? All right, here we go. Uh, let's move right into the top 10 reasons to go to the movies. Love this one today. And I was inspired for this show by this movie called The Kingsman. Went to see it last night. Awesome show. I mean, excellent spy thriller. You guys want to enjoy yourself, be entertained, go see this movie. Colin Firth does a great job. Mark Strong. You got Taron Egerton and Samuel L. Jackson. is hilarious as the villain. Yeah, it's funny. It's heartfelt. A lot of action. A lot of action in this film. Definitely worth seeing again. I'm not reviewing it, but if I did... This is almost a two and a half, guys. It's somewhere between a two and a two and a half. All right, on that note, let's jump right in. The 10 reasons, the top 10 reasons to go to the movies. Movies are awesome. I'm a cinephile. I love it. Number one, it gets you out of the house, Oof, especially on these freezing cold days back east. Hey, it beats sitting up in the base. It, <laughs> it truly does beat sitting in the basement reading Fifty Shades of Grey for the third time. Number two, it's entertaining. Everybody knows we go to the movies to be entertained. Yeah, that beats playing tug of war with your dog all night all right number three all right here we go it helps the economy surely does right you're putting putting cash back into the system and it keeps people employed hey and don't laugh at those movie theater jobs just might be you one day number four it's passive communication there's no texting there's no talking right when you're in the movie theater except if you're that jackass in the back who's you know hovering over his phone with a lit screen all right number five it's fantasy gives you a chance to fantasize who doesn't want to fantasize who doesn't want to be anesthetic Asia Steel, right? Every woman's dream. Check it out. Number six, it's a perfect date with yourself. Yeah, you need some help on that one. Go check out my Get Your Shit Together Award podcast uh, or my Get Your Shit Together podcast number 16. It's called Date Night With Yourself. Man, I love that one. It's a great opportunity to spend time with yourself. Hey, it beats being with your friends and family all the time. Number seven, let's keep going here, guys, keeping this short and sweet. It's good for the soul, right? And this one, it makes you feel, right? What, what are we talking about? You know, legendary North Carolina basketball coach, Jimmy Valvano, he was, he was on his dying days and he said, everyone should laugh some, think some, cry some every day. You should feel, and that's what this is about. It's good for the soul. All right, here we go. Number eight, it's educational. Everybody knows movies are educational. They they do. They provide you insight into something you didn't already know, and uh, especially for those who slept your way through high school. Number nine, it's inspirational. No doubt going to the movies can be quite inspiring and inspire you to pick up and do something with your life. Maybe just it's triggering something inside of you and I love it. Love being inspired by films. And finally, anything is possible, right? And that's what this does. A movie puts everything in the realm of possibility. Hey, just the production in and of itself, the actors, the directors, everybody getting there probably never thought it could be possible, but they believed it and it became possible. So believe it. Anything is possible and use the movies to inspire you to take action and then find what's possible for you. On that note, I'm Rich Tola and remember... Dreams do come true, but hey, what do I know?